guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Fossil Friday. So I decided to film this one after the fossil hunting trip as you kind of can tell. So the weather today, I mean we've got a bit of a dry spell now but it's been just like non-stop rain and the wind was so like just so strong I just I could barely stand let alone film. So I thought it would be safer for me and the fossils to film it at the car. So that's what we're doing now. Um, so I was hunting some crushed ammonites and we got successful. So here is a really cool little one that I found. So this has actually got iridescent to the shell. So these need minimal prep, but they need prep very quickly. But you can see that the shell has like almost like pinks and greens in it. So I'm hoping that if we like get all the kind of mud off of this and put some paraloid on it, that that kind of colors in those shells will stay preserved. So that's the plan, um, just because it's beautiful. Then this piece here, we've got two in one. So that is my hammer mark, but I was just like kind of making it like a pendant kind of thing. It's just like, hello. Um, so we've got a crushed ammonite here and then we've got this one, which almost has part of it crushed and then part of it the chamber got filled with sediment so it's actually 3d so this is quite a nice um kind of example that just shows you like two different types of preservation in the area i just think it's really cool and this one the shell has a bit of the pinky iridescence so i think prepped it should be lovely and the center will all be there so again a lovely piece to prep I just have to make sure i prep these within the two week mark otherwise the um mudstone kind of completely dries out and just flakes off the ammonites and the other fossils they just kind of crumble so that's the plan so here we have another one so they're kind of we're kind of just making tiles for a house by the looks of it but we've got a it the rest of it is actually in here it's just buried under some layers of mud but again you can see that sort of greeny tinge and the pink to the shell so they're really beautifully preserved so they might be crushed and like paper thin but you still have all the ribbing. It just, the, the reason they're crushed like this is because they had no time for sediment to go into the chambers. So they just got like crushed flat basically. Um, but I still think it's awesome. Like they might be not 3D, but it means they're lighter as well. Um, so I'm very thankful for that because they're not full of rock as well. So that's that one. And then the last piece I'll show you that's on the small side of things is this lovely square one. So again, you can just see the ammonite in the middle there and all this mud will flake off the ammonite that you can see here and also here so that that will all come away and here will come away and i'm just going to prep these using a sharp scalpel maybe some hardened nails and um, they don't need much prep at all like they just need a bit of time and uh just tlc basically they cut like cake when they're this wet so they're a really fun prep to do because you just kind of flake the mud off the ammonite so it's um, really good fun and it doesn't need any electronic tools or air tools it's just easy peasy so i'm going to put these to one side and then i'm going to show you the larger ammonite so i did find what i would call a paving slab um so it's been a lot of fun lugging it back to the car which i'm sure you guys can appreciate so let me just move these ones like so so i've wrapped it in a towel for safekeeping now this one you have to trust the process <laughs> so it's very much not um prepped but I saw an indication that it's in there. So I'll just, oh, my hair is not cooperating. Let's see, where is it? Da, da, da. Okay, so here is the big one. So you can see this outer whirl is exposed. So the sea already did this for me, but then I can see that the ribs continue underneath this sand. So this was obviously quite hard to spot, but because this part of the ammonite was exposed, it was easy for me to see. And it was literally already cracked out like this. It was so easy to just kind of flake up. So it was, um, yeah, I think this is gonna prep out beautifully. And we'll just, yeah, I'm hoping that this whole ammonite will be round here. So I think this is gonna be a really big piece. And looking at the preservation of the shell here, that the sea has kind of eroded away, like some bits are missing. But I'm, I'm fingers crossed this is going to be nice underneath because you guys remember that dreaded massive crushed one I prepped years ago now, but I'll link it down below. It was an amazing ammonite. I thought it was going to prep out beautifully from the mud rock and it just crumbled like sand underneath. It was, um, yeah, not ideal. But this one, we're going to try again. But uh, yeah. 
that's today's video i really hope you enjoyed i'm not going to dig through my rucksack and show you i did find some other things as well but this sort of material they're very fragile so i don't want to unwrap things and um, so i thought i would just show you my overflow pile because it has been that sort of fossil hunting trip but look after yourselves and i'll be back with more next week thanks for watching